Where will Marcus Blaze wrestle? Oh, boy. Well, that's the question. To me, I, th- I think it's down to Penn State or Ohio State, if I had to guess. Guess. These are guesses, people. I think Purdue's obviously still in the mix. Uh, but it, it's, it's, does he want to stay home a couple hours? He's like two hours from Columbus. Uh, five, it sounds like Marcus is kind of a homebody. But Penn State. He's still talking to Michigan. He's still talking to Michigan. They're an hour away. Only an hour. Perrysburg is only one hour. It's basically a suburb of Ann Arbor. Mm-hmm. A lot of people commute from Perrysburg into Ann Arbor. Mm-hmm. Lots. Lots. So, yeah, Michigan's maybe in the mix. I think it's Ohio State or Penn State. And for, for Penn State, you know, where does he fit? Not that they really seem to care or worry about that very much. He's obviously just a guy you just – he sort of transcends lineup synergy, right? Just get him on your team. But for his purposes, it was like, well, you got Luke, you got Braden, you got – I don't know. Maybe he fits in perfectly at 33 eventually. Um, he doesn't he, – he beat Luke at Olympic trials. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He doesn't care. No, he don't care. I mean, he's, he's the clear – right now, the clear of that bunch – Luke, Jax, Marcus, Knox, he's the, he's the top dog mm-hmm. of that crew. Which That crew, we're going to look back in like five years. Yeah, There's going to be a lot of NCAA titles, and m- many of those NCAA titles are probably going to be coming at the other wrestler's expense. I think they're all, man, you, you can't go wrong with any of those guys on your team. It reminds you of like Suriano, Fix, Spencer. Yes, yes, absolutely. Crazy group there. So... If I had to guess right now, oh, Pence, it's it's tough to sit, see him. And also with 33, if he's a 33 collegiately, which see, feels like probably where he is right now, maybe he grows into a 41. But for Ohio State, and now this none of this matters because Marcus just transcends, right? But they've got Buzakis at 33. You've got Davino there coming. Who beat um, him in folk style. Beat him in folk style. So it's like, you know... It's not a seamless fit either where he goes. He's going to start wherever he goes, no doubt about that. But it's sort of interesting that I feel like the last two or the final two teams are both where it's not like, oh, there's a perfectly easy slot for him to slide into. So I don't know. If I had to guess right now, I'd say, I'd say, Penn State, just because I predicted that earlier. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna change, but. Well, it's think, it's it's the I, easy default. I, but I also think if you if you ask around, the betting odds would probably favor Ohio State. Why? No, no Oklahoma State. I have not. They were not in his top, top six. six. But that was before David Taylor. Yeah, maybe they entered yeah. the. I talked to him a couple times about it, the recruiting stuff, and he did say he wanted to stay relatively close to home. Uh, he also visited Cornell. Uh, and Iowa, um, two other teams, consideration. I think he could end up being even a 41. His yeah. brother's a 57-pounder right now. Uh, we've seen him grow. So, and, I mean, it could be potentially two years. He's got a senior year and a, a red shirt. Um, I think he's he's going to grow into 41. Mm-hmm. And I think by 28, I think he's like 65 kilo. He's he's one of the top guys. Wow, challenging for that that Olympic spot, sixty five. Yeah, well, hard hard to imagine him holding fifty seven mm-hmm. for a long time. Now when we were in Olympic trial in in state college for Olympic trials. Like Penn State fans, oh yeah, Mark's place going to commit right after this. Like people were saying that was the talk of our town right after Olympic trials. He's going to commit to Penn State. So Some guy like, came right up to me. He's like, I'm sitting with his grandparents. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I swear this happened. This yeah. happened. You, I think you were standing right next to me, yep. Tyler. This guy came, came up to me. Oh yeah, Kozak was there too, yeah. and he's like, "He's I'm sitting with his grandparents, and they said he's committing to Penn State <laughs> uh, after after Olympic trials." And it's which been... that technically could still happen <laughs> because we are after Olympic, Olympic trials. trials. So that guy could get the last laugh, mm-hmm. but he made it sound like it was imminent. Yeah, he made it sound also, like it's going to be a couple days after. Blaze also said he's going to go to. Uh, non-Olympic world team trials, try to make the team at 61. Okay. He's, he's a real factor there. Yeah. He's a real factor. 